Grey's Anatomy one? As much as I love Grey's Anatomy, that wasn't a good episode. Oh, no. <laughs> is it better or worse than Buffy? Oh. It is. It actually is on par, and they make references to Buffy and to the musical episode yeah, in they, Buffy. Yeah. Oh, hell yes. Okay, I'm watching this one. <laughs> we literally watched, we haven't seen that season, we weren't really interested in it, but then they did the crossover with the cartoon. And oh, I was that like, was that, was a, that was a good one. I really want to see this. And then the musical episode happened, and we're like, fuck, maybe we want to watch this series. It is a really good series. It I'm really is. Grab some water before we I'm start, so, and that fine. way, yeah, no interruptions. I'm so happy they're renewing it for, for, for three more seasons, by the way. So, is it, was there a level up in the bar after I missed for a, a few sessions? No, don't think anyone leveled up. Oh. No, we're still level 11. Yes. Are you sure? 11? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, what 12. did I say? I'm level 12. I was going to say, I'm level 12 Steve, as well. Steve, it turns out we have leveled up. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I completely <laughs> forgot. I am so sorry. So sorry as a bard. I thought I was cheating there for a moment. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so, welcome everyone to Dirty 20, where bad roles make great role-playing. Uh, no announcements tonight, obviously, because we haven't got anything. Um, Goop won't be joining us tonight. Um personal reasons, but I'll be taking over as Goop. As Goop voice. Uh, oh. Oh. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, could anyone remember what happened last week? Uh, Pally, Pally, Pally. A lot happened last week. Yes. The group were in the middle of, or just starting to yeah, fight with back. some illithids. Um, <laughs> to which then Cal and T showed up, helped the party out with the fight. Um, uh, then we backed down, got introduced to some two, two new members of the group, um, retrieved some dead bodies, dealt with the mayor who was clearly infected by a weird, wormy thing from the Olympics as well, bugged, excuse the pun, out of the area. Um, went back to Cal's place. No, went back to the capital um, of Kingsborough. Yep. Uh, had a bit of role play moments, bit of bonding uh, amongst the party and the new people. Uh, we were officially introduced to. Um, oh my God! What was his name? So uh, oh. weird, weird dude. Uh, uh, Sodom Mort. Yes, yeah, Sodom Uh And his um, friend? Faint. Yes, Faint. Yep. Um, mother. Uh, yeah, mother. <laughs> um, They're best friends. Uh, I and then showed the rivalry between Cal and Sodom uh, and the fact that Sodom is attempting to. has come out of literally fucking nowhere. Sorry, has come out of nowhere and has. A shining record for possibly being the cha next chancellor, um, taking over the position for that Cal's father. However, Cal is in a position mentally going, "How is this even a process? Why is this even a possibility? When we've already been betrayed at the at the topest top levels, and now the king is like put this weird guy in place. I mean, come on. Well, he hasn't put him in place just yet, but he's he's, he's even contemplating it is weird. Um, but then we, we, we all headed back, uh, and we're getting new suits and dresses. Yes, you are. And yes. Outfits. So, um, yeah. So you're all heading to, let's just say, Cal's bedroom, which is quite a big bedroom. As you all enter, one by one, um, as you're following John Luke, Napoleon uh, Capulet, the tailor. He turns around. It's like, now, which one of you would like to uh, go first? Oh, fantastic! No one. Then, I'm, then my uh, job Cal, is. Cal, Cal pushes T forward. Ah, curiosity. Would you like to go first? Sure. Okay then. And he just 
somehow magics this um, sort of like a like a board, like one of those like clothing boards. So he has privacy and you have privacy. So to so the screen. rest of you, a screen. Thank you, darling. Um, <laughs> What the rest of you have your little chat and everything. He takes her around the corner. Is like, right now, what would you like? What do you have in mind? Well, I'm obviously going through a red phase at this current moment. So I, I can tell. Thank you. I'm feeling like it brings out the pink in my cheeks. Um. So I would love a simple red dress <laughs> as uh the dress that i feel like they come up together is this deep red with this almost armor like uh decoration on top oh yeah uh something a bit but not quite like the open picture down Oh wow! So a deep okay. red with this yep. golden, like yep. metallic okay. bodice yeah. that comes up to her neck. Okay. He waves his hand, and cloth and metallic pieces um, embrace you, and suddenly you have the dress on you. How is that? I, like that? It's perfect, as I knew it would be. I don't mean to overstep, but. Darling Asher is sometimes a little bit unsure of herself and what to wear. Here's a few ideas, and I sort of, like, describe a few things for when Asher comes up. He says, ah, oh, that is interesting. He clicks his fingers and says, Asher, come to me, my darling. She literally kind of just does a what the fuck, don't do this to me look at both T and Sean Luke, and she's, she, like, really hesitant and kind of, like, steps forward. And we got your dress from last week, didn't no, we? No, we've got two choices, and I don't know which one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I look, I can't. You gave me a choice, and I can't do choices. This is the fucking problem. I know. It's okay. Go for mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let me put them in picture dump for you. Give me a tick. Don't know if that's gonna do it. Oh, you bastard! Why you done that? It's not gonna let me show it. I don't think. But I've strangely downloaded it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't help you there. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, I, I can't open it. It's a error file. <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> two ticks. Just give you a virus. <laughs> oh no! Yes, that's exactly what I did. Give me two ticks. Whilst this that's is happening. Whilst it's happening, the rest of you are chatting amongst yourselves. Goop's in the corner being quite Goop. silent at the moment. He's being Goop. Yeah. He goes up to you, Cal, and says, Master? Um, yes, Goop. I don't want to go to the, the thing. Can I just stay in my room and cuddle Melfina? Cal cringes and withdraws slightly at the mention of that name. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, you know what? It it might be best for you. How's that? You can look after everyone's things while we're away. Okay, I'll do that. Ooh. There you go. I put. I've managed to find them. They are in picture them. I don't know which one to fucking pick. <laughs> okay, which? Uh... Oh, oh, oh God! Oh. No, nah, no, nah, Rachel put more in there. <laughs> this is one of my favourite fucking things to do. I would dress all of you up fantasy-wise <laughs> in dress. Okay. Whilst you're thinking of this... Yeah, Ash was going to say, Ash and Tia are going to go to the side and look at, and discuss things. Uh, Jean-Luc beckons over um, um, Azura. It is like seductive French way. <laughs> seductive? <laughs> He's got a cigarette out. Yes. <laughs> like oh, mon ami. I now just have this image of John sitting at his desk just with a cigarette going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do you want to come with me to Paris? A really That's good patient in one hand. 
I will show you what champagne will ease. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> So, Azua, what are you doing? Walking up to him, apparently. Pardon? Oh, can you hear, can you hear me? No. Yeah, we can hear you now, but you're rather echoey. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're in a cave. Oh, bloody hell. Um, <laughs> That's exactly what I would picture Azua saying if he were in a cave. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell, I'm in a cave again. Yeah, just, it keeps happening. Um, yeah, I just, I go up to him. Um, I don't actually say anything to him. I just, I use um, sending just to put the image of exactly what I want into his head. Okay. Right. Can you do that? Yeah, you can, yeah. Cool. So what exactly, just so, for description, what what would it so be? So it is, oh, cause I think I put it into, I it a while back. Did I? Why did we do the, um... Oh, no, I don't remember where we did it. Okay, uh, so it is... God, I don't actually remember. I need the picture. Um... Bear with, bear with. Why don't you want me go into the corner and think more about your costume while I get more people in? Oh, no, I remember, I remember, because I've got the picture now in front of me. Um, so, I want a slightly higher collar, so mm -hmm. kind of halfway up my neck. Yep. Uh, black satin with uh, red brocade detailing, um, and then a red sash to go with it. Okay. And again, I put the, the actual image of exactly what I want into his head. Cool. As soon as, soon as you do that, he waves his hand and more um, materials come out of his little box and embraces you. And a few seconds later, you have this lovely satin high collar suit. Nailed it. Thanks. Another problem, mon ami. Uh, Kaladen. Absolutely. Yeah. Come to me. Of course, darling. I'm s so what is Cal uh, going to be wearing? Again, Cal just, uh, uh, of course. is going to have this very uh, sort of long black coat, white mm -hmm. waistcoat with embroidery across the buckles that uh, clip it closed. Uh, a ruff as well, this deep red uh, coming out between the uh, the high collar yeah. with a black cape with a red lining in the inside, um, gold trim mm -hmm. all along it, and white uh, high boots that come up just yep. beneath the knee. As, like with everyone else, he magically gets the materials out and you have a lovely red embroidered white boot, white gloves, um, suit. Very nice, Pierre. My name is Pierre. Master it's... work. Master it's... craftsmanship, as always. Um, what about your two new, um, friends? Are they joining? They will need adorning as well. Okay, I'll ask them to come along both, so, because I've got a lot to do, you know, I've got things to do, if you don't mind. Um, you two, any points to you, uh, uh, Arena and Chabrock, to come over to his, uh, behind the screen? Arena <laughs> just rolls her eyes, okay, whatever. <laughs> so Arena just walks over just casually. He's what? not really much for a fancy dinner party, so he's not exactly certain. That's those like the rest of us, it's fine. <laughs> Join the awkward group. Uh, speak for yourself. Uh, yeah, you're, uh... hey, you're not part of that group. <laughs> as you're a bit tall and a bit short, what uh, would you like to wear for this dinner party? What's Arena. wrong with what I'm wearing now? Well, <laughs> it's, it's not very, and he just like, Pulls, pulls the material. Well, it's not very unique. It's not proper. Okay. 
<laughs> well, like what's um, Curiosity or Kalalen wearing? Ah, <sighs> in that case, go for something bloody simple. Uh, you know, something white with a black top or something like that. Fair enough, I'll do that. And with everyone, like with everyone else, it magics the material out, and you have this black and white. Yep, like you showed on on Discord. Ooh, that's nice. Um, sort of like a black and white dress type thing. Would I be able to just have a simple military dress? I I'm only used to doing things like that. Uh, and a bond for my blade to show peace. Uh, I guess so. It's uh, a bit orthodox, but uh, okay. And he, like with everyone else, blah blah blah, he magic you a red cape and a baby, apparently. Has John Luke got a baby apprentice now? Yeah, yeah. So I yes. have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Don't play with the wires. Sorry. That's all good, man. Um, so yeah, he does that for you, and you have a red cape with what did you say about your sword, like a peace symbol or something? Uh, basically, it was just going to be a a red knotted rope that ties around the sword hilt, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to actually draw it. Okay. So it's yeah. it's a symbol of peace when he was meeting dignitaries or employers when he was a mercenary. That's the closest he got. Um, I said, well, you two are done. I just need to finish off with Ranko and Zumi, if you do not mind. No, no. Well, yeah, I've already, I think I've got what I want in mind. It's just yeah. black suit. We'll come, we'll come over here, Ranko, and let's, and let's sort it out. Zumi, you can come as well. Ash is just going to be standing in the corner with T looking more and more panicked because she has no fucking idea at this point. <laughs> She's about to do any mini money mo. Pretty much, yeah. So he's he's made you a nice suit as well, Rancor. Uh, yeah, like with like, everyone else. Yep, yeah. nice suit. Like red um, waist, red waistcoat, embroidered. Yeah. I've, I'd, I'd, I'd I think red's in this group today, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, it's we're it's, matching. Very interesting. Okay. I, I'd, I'd just go uh, over at Calendar. Do, do you have a cane that will go with this? Um, he snaps his fingers and a brass... Long, long black brass cane comes out. Yeah, well, that will definitely do. Thank you. He's either much. hiding alcohol or he's hiding a weapon. Could be both. Could be both. What, what no one's realised is they've all been subtly influenced by the fact that Cal Allen's house colours are black and red. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that is basically how I look. Okay. Hell yes. Yeah, are you, yeah. Are you there, Zumi? Uh, yeah, can you hear me, right? Sweet. So what would you like to dress up as? I I want a taste of the high life. I want to stand out. I want people to recognize me. And slightly break away from the college tradition, but basically two words. Dark magician. Oh. And I'm sticking the pictures in. Picture dump now. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. All right, yeah. So he has an image of this what you described to him, he gets the magic, and he makes you a suit with a little top hat. A little boy is growing up. Jimmy, like, checks his sleeves and is just like, like it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, John Luke. <clears throat> Looking smart, Zuma. Miss, Miss Asher, are you ready yet, my darling? She's basically gonna just, like, go, right, you know what, T, you know what you're doing, you pick, because I have no idea, I honestly don't, and if I think anymore, I'm going to start pulling my hair out. My first design. Okay, what was then. that? The first design. It was the ah. first picture posted. Ah! The blue brings out your eye colour. I trust you, so let's do it, thank you. So he does his magic again, and you have a lovely dress on you. Thank you. As soon as he's finished and packing up and saying his goodbyes to everyone, you hear a, a unique trumpet sound outside. Does anyone go to the window? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'd go to the window. Oh. You all go to the window, Stevia. and you see six knights in front of this very elegant carriage pulling into the courtyard of the Indigo Palace. Two of these knights have got uh, two banners, which I'm going to post one of them up to you now. It's the same banner on as they're flying. Uh, why would they do that? Why? Hang on. And it's... Where is it? It's this banner. This is the banner of House Clifton, of Stonegate. Are we being invaded by Scotland? You're not being invaded by Scotland. The, the, the bride and her family have now entered Indigo Palace. Wow. Well, can we look sharp, buddy? You hear a knock. A few minutes later, you hear a knock at the door, and Goop and and Goop tries to go to the door. Uh, no, Goop. I'll get master. No, Goop. And he opens the door, and you see stand before you a very elegant, middle-aged woman with her hair up, very heavy makeup on and a little tiara around her head. Behind her there is a sort of a shy but interesting looking brown haired female behind her. Ah, little one, I'm here to see Kalalen. Oh Master's not here right now. Do come back later. No he tries no, to he tries to shut the door. Goop cat Cal move and catch the door. And, yep. uh, sorry, yep. I do apologise. Servants. Very hard to get the uh, <clears throat> reliable ones these days. Um, you don't do I recognise these individuals? Could you make a history on the female in front of you, please, Cal? Oh, God. Do I get advantage? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, no, you do. Yes, you do. Sorry. Yes, you do. Oh, thank God I rolled a four. <laughs> Uh, so much better. That's an eight overall. <laughs> you recognise her, but you can't put your finger on it. You don't recognise me, do you, Callan? I am sorry, Miss. You have me at a bit of a disadvantage. I have had a rather occupied day, and I gesture to the the room full of people. Well, maybe I, this could help you. Um, trigger your, your mind. Um, I'm the Dowager Queen. Cow. Ew. Cows at that point. That's, she's the queen to be, isn't she? She's the one who's going to be marrying the king. No, no, no. She's the king's um, mother. So she's the Dowager oh, yeah. Queen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so it's just the king's mother. Yeah, he bows a lot deeper in yeah. your majesty. Yeah, Je uh, not Jen. Uh, T bows behind and sort of indicates everyone to bow. She walks in past you, Cal. Is this the room that that archmage gave you? Um, yes, your majesty. It's um, more than adequate accommodation. Well, that won't do. I'll make sure the servants will move your things to the better rooms upstairs. Bigger and more grander for the ones who saved the kingdom. Gracious offer, Your Majesty. One that is well received and accepted, but one that is not necessary either. I will not hear no for an answer. As seeing as your father will be the next Lord Chancellor, it is my duty to take care of House Ananos. It is House Aranos's honour to look after the royal family, Your Majesty. So, we will see you at dinner. I'll make sure cool. the servants will bring the things up to the next room. Is your goblin friend not joining? As you see, Goop just like in the corner 
hugging what's left of uh, Melfina. No, unfortunately, he's um, feeling a little under the weather. That's that's fine because we've got an extra guest coming tonight as well, which is quite interesting. I look forward to the surprise, Your Majesty. Indeed. Uh, she she walks off with her servant, and you shut the door. That was weird, right? That was everyone here. Oh yeah, that was weird. Immediately, yeah. <laughs> with the look, sort of the a familiar look that he's seen from Cal, which is, what the fuck just happened? I genuinely don't know, but I want to find out. There's something odd here. Can anybody sneak around? How raises an eyebrow at you? <laughs> Excuse me. For my in my defense, we have never in a very long time had a normal conversation with someone of power. This is not normal. I feel like somebody should kind of spy on them. <laughs> if it's all the same to everyone else, uh I volunteer a tribute. Please. I can do part of that. I try to one or two other people if you really need me to, but you're going to need a distraction if, to keep people from wandering around trying to find out what's going on. Yeah, okay. Sorry about what you saying? Oh, uh, well, I didn't want to interrupt with the nobility speaking and everything, but still, with this parasite within me, is there a way we can deal with this sooner than later? I would not want to risk being a threat. Yeah, that might be an idea. Um, Let's find the Archmage and try and get that to his priority focus. Uh, T, you can contact him, can't you? Oh, yes, I can! I pull out the necklace thing, mm -hmm. and I go, Archmage, sweetheart, darling, sugar pie, I don't suppose you happen to be free for a tiny little parasite problem that we seem to have after dealing with uh, a being from a different plane of existence that has infected one of our friends who knows the normal stuff. He replies, excuse me? <laughs> That's definitely normal. I'm, I'm not sure what part was confusing. Well, I'll grab the book that I found, but this is going to be a lot for you to take in. I'll be there in ten. So there's more information that we don't have. Um... Nope. I'm sure you're going to be fine. Everything is okay. I will do a performance check. Or, or deception. Deception, darling. Deception. Yeah, can Rena just be staring at her? Like, mm -hmm. That's yeah. a 10. That's no. He doesn't believe a word you're saying. Should I roll a insight or yeah, deception? Yeah, your, 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 your passive insight should pick that yeah. up, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely fair enough. From a gameplay perspective, how powerful is the parasite within Savrock, and is is it magical? Is it going to damage the outfits we've just got? Like, rid of? Sort of like level, like like level, like level wise. <laughs> like level wise the above, table, level above table, Savrock has got seven days. Oh shit! That's plenty <laughs> time. With... Okay, so basically, so do me casting to stop. So zooming casting to spell magic at a maximum level ain't gonna do shit. No. So far, this entire campaign that has been going on for a while has actually has been like three weeks. Yeah, definitely. game. So uh, well, no, I would say about this, um, maybe two months, month and a half. We had like fourteen days when we left King's Barrow. No, originally. You didn't. No, no, you didn't. You had about two months. Also, there's another thing. Um, yeah. Azura? Yes? Um, we still have people in the cube that we need to let out. Ash is going to kind of like pull up the dress at that point. <laughs> uh, not those two, but the trial woman and the nerd boy that has a crush on T. Oh my god, I completely forgot they were in there. Yeah, they're unfortunate. Very quickly, take out the cube. Um, 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 bedroom. Bedroom. Thank you. Yes. 
and the door to the bedroom opens up on running very quickly and then you see me run out with T's toy and the dry woman I'm like I am so sorry I am so sorry I completely forgot that you were in there in my defense we've just been dealing with mind flayers it's been a whole thing um, what the dry woman go to a what yeah don't worry you're completely safe here um we are um Kingsborough? Are we in Kingsborough yeah. still? Yes yes, yes. yes. Yeah, we're in Kingsborough. Um, so we're a little bit further away than you probably would have liked to have been. I am so sorry, but you are completely safe here, so you can relax. Um, I will speak to somebody about getting you all taken care of. Um, in fact, that person is going to be Cow. Cow. <laughs> Rooms arranged for them. I am so sorry. Telemangus goes to Cow. Well, I still want to stay with you, Lot. That's most heroic of you, Telemangus. Um, however, we've been invited to dinner by the royal family and unfortunately you don't look like you have an outfit that would really suit and uh, you know how royalty can be i'm sure so you're probably um, sitting here with goop at the moment when you say that john luke comes in is like i've forgotten something hang on guys hang on we got a little upset bubba oh this one wants to be on my lap all the time bless him anyway uh john luke comes in it's like ah Kalanen, you got a new friend. I'll I'll make a costume for him. Cal death stares tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then John Luke makes a nice, quite elegant robe for um, Talamangus. Oh, ah. look how pretty you are. <laughs> Ah, see, I can I can come to the dinner now, can't I, Mr. Ananos? Well, I, I can't exactly invite you on behalf of the royal family. Or I'll go find someone who I can talk to. Um, I'll see you later, Curiosity. And if you want, come on, oh. the Archmage is showing up in about ten minutes. I'll talk to him then. The, the drow is being taken to one one of the rooms in the castle. Ten minutes have gone past, and uh, your uncle comes in. I'm just having a busy, busy day. You wanted to see me, Callan? Uh, yes, so we have a friend, mm -hmm. and uh, indicates towards Sarah Vok. Um, who has unfortunately picked up a, a bit of a visitor uh, and a hitchhiker, uh, from what we can tell. Um, I'll I'll let them explain it better than I can. They were obviously there rather than I was. Let me explain what I've found out. And he takes the book which he had on the, underneath his arm. Very old, really old book. I mean, the actual cover of this is falling apart. The oh, page. The pages inside are barely hanging on, and he puts it down, he opens it up, dust comes out. I found this book in my archives. It's a very old book. It describes that they were here once before. Oh, joyous. At the beginning of time, apparently, or according to this book, um, a lot of people were infected by what you call tadpoles. They would harvest the uh, humanoids around the world and put them on their airships. Apparently, this is what it's saying. I can't really describe it properly or translate it properly, but they would put them on their airships and transform them into other mind flayers. So is there a cure? Is this a doomed fate I have? Well... I can't find any cure in this for the mortal plane. However, it only says divine magic. 
So perhaps Azura has something that he can do. Well, don't forget to you have divine magic now too. So between the two of us, there's, uh, there's got to be something it's, we can do. Surely, it's a little more complicated than that. It needs someone of the, the divine guardians to help him. Now, as we all know, we haven't no one's seen a god in thousands of years, and they people pray to them, but. Mm. Where have you been for the last like? Three months. <laughs> so I need to get Ash's true. best friend. I beg your pardon. I've been been here the whole time in this castle. Oh. What's that? What? What? We could make the call. The call. What call? Sorry, I was, I was talking to T. Can I, are we, you, we are we debating if we're going to make the call, or are we just going to do the call? Is there really a debate here about it? Well, if it saves someone's life, we've got to make the call. Okay. How much that would this will cost? Oh, uh, nothing. I've already given him my soul, kind of. Um, well, he's giving it back. It's a long story. Uh, right. Okay. Somebody make sure Asher doesn't kill him. Asha, hearing this, is just going to go and sit on whatever's near it and just going to fold her arms. But she's going to give a look of, I will behave as long as he does. Zumi sits next to Asha. Just emotional support. I'll kind of put myself between Asha and wherever he, uh, <laughs> where we're about to make this call just in case. <laughs> to be fair, she's kind of hindered by a lot of fabric. She has got about a two-second head start. That's true. <laughs> Only about two seconds. I mean, you know, she could always tide away from out windows. You know, that's always fun. No tide away, she'll ruin her hair. <laughs> Wouldn't aim it at you, would I? Never done this before. Or the, even the idea of praying. But you know what? We're going to see how it goes. Oh, mighty Yahweh, God of all... I think, traveller of the mighty cosmos and guy that really helped us quite a few times, but also kind of caused my father's death. Um, what's up, dude? Kind of need your help. And I will use, I think, my little ring <laughs> that should give me contact with him. I'm just like stood here trying desperately not to laugh. You hear nothing. Mina just looks very confused at what's actually going on now. So Someone's like, gonna die if you don't answer us. We desperately need your help. Well, at least it makes sense now why the Illithids tried to make me swear off deities and divine. Still no answer. It is a problem from another. I, I don't, it is a problem from another universe. I don't know if that intrigues you. Yeah, there's no way he would miss this. So something's going wrong. Can you all make a perception check, please? That's a 10. <laughs> 17. Me, Ash is having a bad day. 20. I, no <laughs> I got a six. You hear. I got 19. Okay. Rena and T. Uh, who else got uh, 18 and over? Me. Uh, oh, I got me. I got 21. Okay. So, Rancor, Rena, Cal, what did you get? Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, and Zumi? Uh, I got an eight. Okay, God oh, bless you. So you three hear a little slight, little sort of chirpy knock at the door. Can we now go over and just like, open it? <laughs> you can. 
Uh, I would follow Reyna, because I'm, I'm not even sure what the hell's going on for my character. T is, like, looking up in the sky, like, come on, dude! Do you imagine I'm playing? trying to picture her arms, like, outstretched, like, fucking come on! Is anything at the door? Hang on, I'm good. Do you do see someone at the door? He's got back. He's back to you, but he turns to you, and I'm trying to get the picture up. Here we go. So you see this fellow standing at the doorway with his up with his arms out. Do um, you know you are, Ah. You have a cow. Ah, you are the wayward ones, no? That's I definitely heard, not Yahweh. I heard much things about you. I heard stories, and it's magnificent. And he just grabs Cow and just does the little, little French Italian kiss on the cheeks. <laughs> hey, who the hell did you ask for? Does Cow know this custom? Uh, it's a custom that is very particular in the southern regions of Orath. Okay. So from like so, the yes, Cow will, yeah. will do what he needs to. I heard amazing stories that you saved the kingdom. Uh, no? Is that not true? Yes. No, absolutely. Yes, we very much saved the entire kingdom. I am Cinnabon. I will be joining your that's magnificent. My name is Cinnabon. I will be joining the party tonight. Cinnabon. 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 I want to keep him. <laughs> I'm busy playing at the moment. I can't say anything. But... There you go. There's the Cinnabon in the GIF. Look, yeah. just because he sounds, his name sounds like a meal and something to eat and sweet treats. <laughs> Just imagining a fancy <laughs> cinnamon bun. I like my snacks. I bet you do. <laughs> Hold on, you haven't That's finished nice. the longest yet. Come on. You've got to finish the dinner before you have to <laughs> Are we adopting another person here? I, I don't know. No, we have too many already. We're not adopting more. <laughs> Well, I just want to introduce myself to you before the before the dinner tonight. Well, um, uh, Cinnabon, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, and I have I have also done tonight's entertainment as well. I hired a very travelling carnival to entertain us. It a, a travelling carnival. For the royal family's dinner. Yes. So you're a bard then, are you? Well, not per se, but I am a traveller. I travel the world, if, if you know, and know a lot of people. Well, I am sure um, that you are very talented um, and are... I've not made a bad decision at all about hiring a, a, a roving carnival folk to a <laughs> royal dinner. What what is wrong with this? These can this travelling carnivals are very. How do you say talented? Especially uh, the comedian Roderick Dangerfield. He is very funny. I. Uh, Here, can Saravok look over to T and be like, I'm guessing that is not the Yahweh you were speaking of. No, the Yahweh that we, I worship, apparently, now, even though I haven't quite got the worship part down, um, is kind of a douche, but in a good way. Asha, hearing T say that, is just going to give, like, a small smirk sort of thing at this point. Zumi's got a cast presentation. What On what, Zumi? So, Zumi just wants the um, the death whistle from Puss in Boots to start playing and just see if this guy shits himself. <laughs> he does not. Kind of, he kind of falls flat and he's like, no. Oh. Ash was going to kind of like pat Zumi on the back like, there, there. There, there. You tried. <laughs> How did you know T has could be entertainment? <laughs> just like, 
a clown eating someone and just waving. I would find that entertaining. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. Most lovely to meet you, Cinnabon. Unfortunately, I need to get my room moved upstairs. Uh, oh, of course, of course. I am, I am taking too much of your time. I will see you at the dinner, yes? Yes, of course. Magnificent. Well, Azura. until then. And he walks off. Azura. Yes? I'm going to ignore that entire interaction. Um, I think we should. Your... Can you talk to your god? Uh, more or less. I mean, sometimes... I think she hears. And I want. I think something might be blocking my communication to Yahweh. Like a block on the city. Don't get me wrong. He chooses inappropriate moments to just turn up and disappear. Oh yeah, of course. He never misses an opportunity to be correct. And it's weird that he is now. Yeah, you make an excellent point. Um, okay, I'll, I'll give, um, I'll give it a shot. As soon as you say that, T, a little flicker of light goes on the necklace, and you hear a voice saying, "I will be there." Well, that worked. Okay. He's choosing to arrive fashionably late. Uh, Gotta respect the game. I walk up to Renner and sort of take his hands. He will help you. We will help you. Let's focus on one thing at a time. The first of all is stealing the old book from the Archmage because it looks really cool. The second is the dinner. We'll get you through this. <laughs> How about I just threaten them to give it to us until he yeah. actually gives me it? God, there's two ashes. <laughs> Reyna, if he's a powerful mage, might be the last thing you threaten. I can run fast. <laughs> I know you can, but he can cast faster, I bet. So I have to be nice. Yeah. For now, formalities. But I'd like to address everyone here. I am not a threat to anyone at this moment, so there's no precautions that are needed to be taken because of my uh, infection. Agreed. We unfortunately do have more pressing matters that are immediately urgent, and there are more than competent enough individuals around you that if the matter does escalate into a situation where we do need to deal with you in certain ways, then I believe us capable of doing so. All I ask is for a warrior's death at least. Before any changes. It's alright, I'll bash your head in. It's fine. <laughs> oh, actually, don't really damage right. the body too much, because then, like, I can bring him back. Yeah, I was just thinking, if we killed him, um, and then brought him back, would the parasite come back as well? You know, I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I've never tried before. How about, while we're inside the city the literal castle of the uh, capital city, about to attend a dinner function with the royal family, we don't start murdering people. Are you in your rules? I would prefer not to be killed and then promise to be brought back. I've never seen anyone come back after death to begin with. Also, probably not a good idea to attempt it because Goop might get, try and get there first. That is, yeah, no, that's 100%. Yeah. No offence to Goop, it's probably not how Severot wants to come back. Uh, no, it would be less bought back and more played with, like, a flesh puppet. T is going to squeeze 
uh, Zumi's hand and try and subtly in, in a. I'm sorry, I, I have been insensitive here and I shouldn't have. Oh, and what about the bodies of the fallen? They were promised a proper burial to their respective families and clans. And my father is already arranging for those to be taken when they need to. I appreciate that, Colin. It's quite all right. I can be rather persuasive if I need to be. Well, thank you, Mr. Thumpsy Pants. <laughs> Reina, everyone, how about a drink? I think we all could use one at this moment. Oh, yes. Oh, you read my mind. Mm. I'll tell you about forks while we do it. Uh, <laughs> at this oh, point, Asha kind of just like sighs, almost face palms, and goes, Oh, for fuck's sake, like, I forgot about the forks. You hear forks. a knock? You just get one, right? <laughs> no, it, that would make it easy. Outside in. It's, yeah, it's quite simple. You start from the outside, work your way inwards for every course. The only one you've really got to remember is a butterfly. Yeah. So yes, I'm more than very one proud that you learned to you, you listen to the lessons at my home. Thank you. How You're many welcome. courses? Seven, usually. But it's Great. a royal dinner, yeah. so it could be anywhere between seven and fifteen. Also, one thing you've also got to remember is you only wait to start eating if the dish being served is cold or if the queen is present, which... That's going to be likely, so you wait to start eating before everyone else gets served, okay? I'm so proud Fair of you. Enough, I guess. So, if food's there, I can't eat it until she's not, until, not eating? Not, no, not until everyone else is served. So once everyone else gets the food, then you start eating. I think. That's how it works. That's how it works, right? Yes. yes. Oh, fuck, I hate this place. <laughs> Genuinely, at least we will have a lot of. There should be enough servants. There should be enough servants for the royal family to deliver all the meals at the same time. Genuinely, however, that doesn't mean it's going to enact that way. We'll have to find out. What happens if he beat her? If you finish first, what happens? If you eat your food first. Yeah, what happens? Do you win anything? It's. Not a race, Raina. Just <laughs> even soon he starts rubbing his eyes like. Uh... I'm going to go and get that fire whiskey now, if you don't mind. Excuse me. Oh, um, I like fire whiskey. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Cow goes off to get a drink. Oh, thank God, drink. So you all go downstairs where the uh, the dinner's being served. You see a few more guests come in to the room. Um, and then you hear the, I would say announcer, I can't think of the word, who predicts the, the name of said person. Yeah, thank you. His Lord and Lady Clifton of Stonegate with Lady Ellen Stonegate, uh, Clifton. And you see the family of Clifton walk through um, into the hall. You see a younger son and a much younger son as well behind the Lord with a few other nobles behind <laughs> them as they start getting their drinks from waiters. And then you hear the king come in with his mother and the imperial royal court come in. And then you are all ushered into the sort of like the royal dining hall where the food is going to be prepared. And I'd like everyone to go on to roll 20, please. I don't know why my brain has taken that guy's name and has turned it into Dave Clifton. I know it is not. I know it's not even close. But my brain is just like, that guy is called Dave. Why do I know that name? Dave Clifton? Who's that? I have no idea, but it feels familiar. I've got a six. The only, the only, the only thing I think of when anyone says anything about Dave is just, Hello, Dave. You're my wife now, Dave. 
as you can see, Talamangas is right behind everyone else, you know, trying to, you know, keep up and everything. Um, Carol, you know, it's him, like right by the, by the back, trying to keep up with everyone. Cal, Cal's right eye is twitching. <laughs> so, as you all, is everyone on roll 20? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm on roll 20. Okay, so I'm going to... At the top of the table, you have Princess Lana, the king's sister, the Dowager Queen, uh, Nicole Waverin, King Urban the Seventh, Lady Ellen Clifton, her father, Arthur Clifton, and her mother, uh, Sheila Clifton. On table two, where Cal is, right here, you have Cal, um, Shadow Mort, 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 I made this name, I can't say it, uh, Shadow Voldemort, 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 um, Cow's father, Faint, the Archmage, Norcan Zero, the Minister of Coin, Horatio Novus, the Whispers of Secrets, Lord Reuben Waverin, Damien Grayson, Zumi, Asher, uh, Raina and Sir Haran Pottus. On the other table, is everyone writing this down or are you all just waiting for me? I'm just waiting. No, I can't write that. Oh, I have oh, attempted I just... to write down the names. I have, no, I have failed. Okay, I'm just going to send it to you all. Actually, I'm going to Breathe this out and yes, it please send it in the chat. That'd be great. I will. Do, I will do after I read it out. On table three, you got Lord Commander of the Knights of the King's Guard, Eben Dogger, Sir Gerald uh, Clifton, the Snow on the Mountain. That is the uncle to the to the future queen. You have Cinnabon. You've got Tyler Clifton, the future queen's brother, Azura, Gareth um, Clifton, another brother to the, to the queen, T, Telemangus, uh, Sir Samuel Dredding, the captain of the guard for House Clifton, Rancor, uh, Shovwick, I can't, I don't know why I pronounce your name like that, mate, and Lord Crowley Moonfell. Yeah, that's all good, man. And I'm going to send them all to you. Well, we're in another dimension. Tears is I twitches. I was going to say, that dude got a... Yeah. Of, that dude got a back full of sword. <laughs> Somewhat, somewhere, some, somewhere in some place in the world, there is a half-orc in full plate who's currently bench-pressing about six people. <laughs> Uh, who's just enjoying himself and if you if you stuff. if you guys didn't remember you have met uh lord, right yeah, yeah, yeah. lord crowley in the in the sort of like the few sessions ago just out of curiosity was working. wait yes, he was working yes. with the criminal element he yes, was working he was. with the criminal element yes he was yes he yeah, was he shady fuck and now he's on the on the table Wait, Which one is he? Uh, so you remember when we, we, we took out that raider camp before we got Tasty Towers? Uh, we when we got robbed at the bar? Yeah. Uh, the bandit group. So they ran the bar and we killed all the family, but there was that sister, the, the daughter, was all like playing the shit out of us. Yeah. Yeah, he was the guy who showed up and I basically threatened him into backing down, letting us take loot, and then he took the rest of it. Oh... He has a servant who's basically a demon. Yeah, our table is not great. Oh, uh, really? You were going to say something? No, I was just going to say, out of curiosity, assume me and Rina yeah. got booster seats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, totally, absolutely. 
Wait, he's John got hard. Damn it. I'm back. Welcome back. We need to know how accessible this world is to short people. Yeah, I've wake up with the seats. <laughs> yeah. So Zumi and Rayla have got special crafted seats for them. I was gonna say if you put Zumi on a fucking booster Z, he's gonna have a face like thunder the entire night. <laughs> I like how the guy next to me looks like freaking Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I, that's what I was gonna say. Is that maybe oh, yeah. more Dreddings? That's uh, Sir Samuel um, Dreddings. He's the yeah. captain, of, captain of the guard of House, House Clifton. Hello there. Oh, right. Yeah, you call him whatever you like. That's you, Greg. Don't do it, Sir Vark. It's the wrong fuck. <laughs> it's the wrong fuck. As the first course comes in everyone is slightly talking amongst themselves Cal you're talking to your father um Zumi Raina and Asher you're talking amongst yourselves uh, oh no that Cal, sorry Cal, uh, clarification Cal is not talking to his father Cal is intentionally putting most of his attention towards faint faint not not Voldemort not Sodomort no faint I, Cal is horrendously attempting to flirt, or, or attempting to flirt with Faint. Can you roll a performance, please? A performance? Can I try and blag a persuasion? Okay, go blag a persuasion then. Cal's a man slut. He's genuinely into this. Does that work for blagging? <laughs> I think that gives him advantage, doesn't it? <laughs> why, is that, why is it saying I get a pers advantage of persuasion? Mm -hmm. Do I have... Oh, it's just about the dwarven kind, um, which obviously doesn't take effect. Okay, cool. Hang on, I'm catching up with all the, all the memes on here, hang on. I am. Yeah, the, 20, dirty 20. Dirty 20. He's taken to your, um, hang on, I'm going to roll as well. Yeah, I'm going to roll as well, hang on. Where's my D20? Don't have, I don't have his character sheet on here, but I have it written down. Oh, what is that? 17 plus 5. So that's 17 plus 5, that is, oh, I can't do math. 23. 23. So he looks at you and just gives you that sort of dead stare and just goes back to eating his his um, prawn cocktail, whatever it is they have. Uh, how was Sodomort's reaction? He chuckles a bit. Like like a bully would. If like someone like did like a presentation in school and someone took the mech out of it, that type of thing, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 I get it. Um, then, yeah, then I'll start talking to my father. Anyone else want to do any role-playing? Meanwhile, Rena's just, like, trying to avoid eye contact and just drinking. <laughs> so, nah, this is not her jam. Uh, my character probably attempt to talk to the captain of the guard. Okay. This simple conversation as best he can since he has no connection with anyone really at the table much he finds your stories fascinating and kind of sad that you lived this life i explained to him basically well i've known nothing else since i was picked up by the group other than that oh i haven't even seen one of my kind so, it'll be news to me if I ever see them, if they would actually even accept me as one. Ah, oh, yes. That is fascinating. And he co goes back to eating his meal. Yeah, at that point, I think my character's gonna be like, yeah, fuck this, I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> screw, screw these nobles. Um, Talamangus whispers to you, Azura. Uh, hey, um, is your name Azura? I didn't really catch your name. Yeah, yeah, sorry, but... Yeah, um, what's the best way to, um, impress curiosity? 
Try talking to her about books. The older the better. Well, every time I try to talk to her, I kind of... Well... Stand there like a stiff fish. Well, you can sit there like a stiff fish this time. Um, so that'll be different. Um, no, but seriously, just... If you, want, if you want to... If you don't try to impress her, just try to talk to her. She's... I was going to say she's human, but she's not. But you know what I mean. Um, she's a person. You're a person. Just talk to her. Okay. She won't bite too much. Okay. Okay. And he just takes his, like, gauntlet of, like, wine. He chugs it. He gets... And he pours, a, pours another one. He chugs it down as well. Maybe getting drunk isn't the best plan this early in the meal. The first course is over, and obviously other courses come in. Mr. Sorry, Lord Clifton, you must be excited about your sister's wedding. Uh, maybe, but I'm not too bothered. I like fighting and swordplay, you know? Oh, really? We just so happen to make acquaintance with a wonderful man who happens to be an expert at the sword. Oh, and who is that then? Uh, it is... Oh my god, where are you, Raina? Sparrowrock. Sorry. Sparrowrock's down here, Raina's on the other table. Uh, Sparrowrock. just down... Sparrowrock. Sparrowrock. Uh, just down there. Or perhaps you could talk to my dear friend, Kalaren. His sword skills are spectacular. Well, it'd be interesting to, to do that. I like, I'd like a good sword play. Mother wants me to marry off to some mm. noble girl, and I don't really want that. Oh, really? Uh, what? That is so... I'm sorry that you've been forced into that predicament. One should always marry for love. I don't want love, I want swordplay, I want to fight. I just, uh, T kind of looks at Zerak, <laughs> just resuming. I just kind of give a little shrug, like, mm -hmm. Swords are so fascinating. This is wonderful wine. Yes, it is wonderful wine, isn't it? Mother says I'm allowed to drink now because I'm 15. Hey, are you close with your mother? Very close, and I've got to look after the squirt as well. I used to talk about his, like, his younger brother next to him. Sibling love. It's an honourable thing to look after one's family. It is, isn't it? And he carries on eating and drinking. Well, I tried, guys. I thought I could get some information, but the guy likes his swords. <laughs> that might be information enough. Cinnabon turns to you as well, it's like, So, how long have you been in the group now? What am I, like, the conversationalist of the group now? Um... <laughs> it's because me and Simon have talked too much. Now you guys have got to do it. Uh, you know what? It feels like I've been here for a very long time. But you haven't, have you? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Time has just absolutely flown by. There has been that much to do. We've barely had a day to sit down and stop. This is, this is actually the longest we've gone without something trying to kill us, or us trying to kill something, so... Uh, how long have I been with the group? Um... I I'm gonna look at T for the... the for... T? Uh, about a month, three days, 14 hours and 23 seconds. Ah, yes. Estimated, obviously. Oddly specific for an estimate, but thank you very much. Yeah, that long. Ah, yes. When you tried to rob the library. We didn't rob a library. Um, you may have confused us, sir. 
we were at the library? I don't remember robbing a library. I think I'd remember that, because you'd still be excited about it. I'm weak for books. I'm, please let me say I've at least got advantage on this pure fucking lie. <laughs> uh, roll a deception, please. Because we did, they, we did try and roll that. Did we? Yeah, it's where we got the first shard, and we, we had a really cool plan. It was a while ago. Seventeen. We picked up Zoomy in the same time, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... In that case, you shouldn't let me carry on, because I'm not lying, I genuinely didn't realise we tried to rob a library. No, you were there. I, I rolled a 22. So he looks at you, T, giggles. Uh, curiosity, you are always such a bad liar. And he stands up and he pronounces to everyone, I am now going to be introducing to you the, the entertainment for tonight. And he claps his hands and walks at the back of the, of the hallway when you, when you hear sort of like a loud bang and like, Sort of like fireworks inside the Grey Hall and acrobats. A few clowns come out and, you know, they all, and dancers are all dancing around the tables and everything. This little sun elf comes out. So, Greetings, everyone. I am Chopin. I am now here to. I am the ringmaster of the Chopin's Travelling Carnival of Wonders. And we are going to be introducing to you the first act of tonight. His name is Roderick Dangerfield. Give a round of applause, please. She goes off to the back where this makeshift um, curtain is. And out comes this. I'm going to put a picture up in the thing of who this person is or person looks like. You could. You can talk amongst yourselves. I'm trying to find this. The cow, the cow does a very polite kind of clap. Oh, 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 oh. Golfers round, round, golfers claps. Round golfers claps. Rena's oh, going to look at Sumi and be like, Are you alright, pal? Is Sumi okay? Sumi? Sumi's like slowly receding under the table. He just really doesn't like clowns. Do you want to punch one? Ash no, is no, going to no. push a drink towards him, but she is visibly looking very uncomfortable anyway, and she's just not happy. Uh, T is going to look to Azura and kind of indicate to do the mind link, like just tap the forehead. I tap the side of my head with, my, with an open hand twice to indicate like, it's going to take me 10 minutes to do this. Can Rena just be watching what they're doing, just in case of pickpockets? <laughs> um, do a perception, please. That is, Rainy, I think you're going to come in fucking clutch. Roll good, bitch. Roll good. 18. Yes! You see exactly what they're doing. You see they're trying to link stuff together. Link stuff together? What do you mean? Like, they're trying to do, like... A like a, like a telekinesis, like mind talk. No, she means she's watching oh. the clowns. Oh, oh no, oh, there's no clowns. It's he just... wants to see if the carny folk are going to try and rob us. Yeah, yeah all these no, performers. They're no, they're not. Because there's just an old chap come out and he says, Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, what a lovely crowd. What a lovely crowd. You know, sometimes I don't get any respect. No respect at all. Oh, God, it's observational stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's just, just going to look bored and roll her eyes and take an even bigger drink. No respect. I looked up my family tree and found three dogs using it. No, tough growl, tough growl. Bigger, bigger roll of eyes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, they're rolling so hard you can almost hear it. When I was born, I was so ugly the doctor slapped my mother. Asha looks visibly bored at this point. Oh, tough oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna turn to the cat and be like, 
Do you have any stronger drinks than what they have here? I don't know what kind of act this is, but it's odd. He goes to you and I'll uh, get someone to get some ale to you. Uh, Bruno's gonna look at the and say, it's like, how do we make this stop earlier? Can we make this stop? Um, he carries on for about 30 more minutes. Yes, Cal then. Uh, Cal is not watching this guy. Cal is intentionally not looking towards the this man who is drawing everyone's attention in the room. Cal okay. is watching the rest of the room, particularly the royal family's table. Okay. Do you need a perception check or? Yes, please. 17. You see them trying to be polite to this um, comedian, but you can tell that the king's quite bored. So is the bride to be. Oh, if he's been rabbiting on for half an hour, then we've already had twenty minutes of telepathic link. Yeah, Cal, I was gonna say Cal is uh, doesn't give a shit about their reaction to the to the stand up. It is more the fact that Cal is watching the room in case this is a fucking distraction. In the middle of that stand up, then you guys hear kind of big trouble, kind of big trouble. Uh, it turns out. Uh, Cinnabon totally knows about the time that we robbed that library for the Crystal Shard and the book. Wait, we actually did that? Yeah, we did. We did rob the library? Yeah, um, we robbed the library. It was a while ago. A lot's happened in between then and now. Oh, crap. It's fine. The man has at least a level of intelligence about social decorum and will not just openly blurt it out in public. He'll use it as a weapon against us. That'll give us an opportunity to twist him on instead. Either way, he is not a friend. <laughs> Rena's just got elbows on, a tra you know, on the table, holding her head like, oh god, when we're supposed to fucking stop. <laughs> After 30 minutes, he goes, well, you've been a lovely crowd, lovely crowd, I hope to see you later. And he walks off behind the, the curtain, and this little... Um, I'm going to put this character in the... Th but it's a very small... Um, Sun Elf, as you, as many of you might know, the Sun Elves come from, um, from, from Ziggrad, a very desert, rainforesty continent, on the wet, southwest side of Kaldra. I will send a little picture of her in here. So she, she's she's about. I say a teenager, but she's running this carnival as her own. Oh, I love entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and she comes out as like, thank you, thank you, Roderick Dangerfield. And now, there's a gentleman. Please give a warm welcome to... I'm trying to find their names in here. In my... Please welcome the queens of the wild frontier. And all of a sudden, you see... Sort of like Romany um, exotic dancers coming out of this um, little backstage area, all dancing around everyone, you know, doing cartwheels, um, um, backflips, um, stretches, and everything. One even stretches near you, Cal, and gives you a little cheeky wink. Cal checks his pockets. Make, uh, make. Cal, it, uh, Cal knows these tricks. He's done this stuff himself. You know. <laughs> we are all so prepared to die. Um, I'm gonna post who they actually look like in. Can I, yeah, I'll do that one. Uh, four had more. Also don't. Anyway, so they do their little tricks and do their little, you know, jumping jacks and everything else around the tables. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. What do you want to um, roll for, Cal? Uh, I mean, a pretty good perception check to see if they are pickpocketing me or anyone. Yeah. I would imagine. Does anyone, anyone else want to do that? 17. Um, you see, they're not uh, yeah. they're not pickpocketing anyone, but they are making a bit of a distraction. 
like there's one there's one of them dancing quite close to the <laughs> dancing quite close to the royal table. Cal watches the shit out of that person. Do you make yeah, so a can you make a perce another perception please? Yeah. I just got a twenty seven by the way, so what does that get me? Nice one as well. I got 26! Yeah! High five and zero! Okay. So, you both see her distracting the king and future queen and pulling something out of her her dancing top and place it in the in the um, wine jug and then walks and then dances off. Uh, hold on. The Dragonborn one, um, Zumi, is getting quite close to you. Can Rena be watching that as well? Yes, she can. Scooting <laughs> out her, her friend, so. <laughs> so this one's dancing quite close to you, um, Zumi. The, dragon, the, the white Dragonborn dancer. You there, Zoomy? Zoomy! Yeah, 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 sorry, I'm here. Carry on. What do you want to do? Sort of, like, put my hand up against my face, just like, I'm not paying attention, I'm not interested, go, go please go away, I feel really awkward and comfortable. Okay, uh, and... Ash is just going to be kind of drinking her wine while watching <laughs> over the rim of her cup at this point. Oh, God. Uh, okay, everyone through the link is going to hear Cal's going to openly broadcast like his subconscious, no subconscious thoughts, but like his more personal thoughts in the sense of like, oh god, I'm about to I'm I'm about to cause a scene during a royal dinner. Please do. I need an adult. I need an adult. You have an adult, yeah. Just to confirm, yeah, yeah. Sarah, we're all linked, correct? Uh, yeah. How many others are there? Just a sec. Okay. Knowing the seating arrangements, I, through the link, I say, Renna, Savrock, Rancor, go and block the door. Don't let any of the Kami folk leave. Which door should I take? Uh, I think it's the, the double doors here, isn't it? To the south? Yeah, let me check. John? Is there one of these um, dancers near me? Yes, it's the um Doesn't matter which. Um whoever it is, I grab her. I'm gonna go grab her and then I'm gonna go into the middle of the room. Okay. I can't I can't move my token, but here. Yeah. And like dance with her, but while I'm dancing with her, mm -hmm. I am casting aura of purity. So anybody within a 30 foot radius of me yeah. uh, has they can't become diseased, they are resistant to poison damage and have advantage on saving throws against effects that cause the following conditions. Blinded, charmed, deaf and frightened, paralyzed, poisoned and stunned. You sexy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what Rena's going to do is she's going to cast Blur on herself because that gnomish lovely spells so she's only got three of them, but um, and she's going to move towards the double doors because she got told to. <laughs> okay. I'm so going to excuse myself at the table and seeing Raina move, I I'm just going can't to move, move towards. Move my token. No. <laughs> yeah, I can't move mine. Hang on. I'll, I'll do it for you. Where's Rancor oh. going? <laughs> so, so, hang on, just quickly, the, 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 the thing for the link from Cal is to. Uh, Seeing Azura basically pulling the distraction to the center of the room and doing this thing, or going to do something, he trusts Azura's judgment, he's worked with her before in this regard. He asks Renna, Sa uh, Savarok, uh, and Rancor to go to the double doors and don't let anyone leave. He's going to ask Zumi and Asha and T to keep an eye on the, the general bulk of the room, um, particularly uh, fucking Cinnabon Boy um, and the Carney folk. As Cal will come up and around, and will don't literally lean over the king, 
to grab hold of the drink that I saw them putting the stuff into and yeah. whisper to the king, they just slip something into your drink, my liege. What? The one of the dancers that was nearest to you, my liege, they slip something into your drink. I don't know what exactly, but I intend to find out for you. I'll get the guards to... I'll get the guards to arrest them, then. It would be ideal, sir, yes. And to alleviate and to make sure that I am telling the truth, I am wearing an amulet that allows me to store my memories into it. It needs ten minutes, but I will happily take those ten minutes for you, my liege, so that I can store that memory I saw, what I saw, so that you may personally view it yourself if you need that assurance. He clicks his fingers and points to the Lord Commander, he comes over. What is it, my liege? The king points to Cal. And you obviously explain the situation. The Lord Commander beckons over two more <coughs> king, king's guards to arrest the, um, the carny folk. And they do. And the carny folk are being carted out to another part of the palace where they are questioned. Cinnabon is still sitting down, like, because feet up and everything. Doesn't have a care in the world. Yeah, you know, Rena's just punching her fist into her hand, like, come on, tears. <laughs> Cal, Cal will say to the, to the captain of the guard, and just be like, I don't know very much of... Uh, Mr. Cinnabon, um, but it might be an idea to also keep an eye on or maybe even question him, seeing as he was the individual who specifically hired these Carney folk in the first place. I'll do my best. And he, as soon as he does that, Cinnabon does an amazing acrobatic um, sort of like a spin in the air as he kicks his chair up and does a spin. He suddenly disappears. I was just about asking to watch this guy because I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Dimension Dawn or some bullshit. Some Can I do an arcane check to see if he's gone invisible or some shit? Yes, yeah, Also, can. can I do perception to see if I notice any disturbance around me? 22. Okay. What do you get? I got a 24 and all for perception around me. Okay. Nice. You feel a strange sort of magic emanating where he was, but you can't put your finger on what type of magic it is. T, you know it's, it hasn't gone invisible, but there is a glimmer of light. Like, I would say like, dust, like really soft, illuminating dust that emanates where he disappears. You recognize that dust very well. Is it that, is that? Wait, I'm confused. Where have I seen the dust? message you. Oh my god, oh don't do this to me. I'd probably speak to Reyna and Rancor. Uh, are the double doors wide enough for us to block it if we all stand close together? How Where wide are, are the doors? <laughs> I don't know if we need to block doors anymore because it's the uh, carny folk being arrested by the king's guard. I was thinking that in case the guy tried to get past us, like my character wouldn't know if he was yeah. invisible oh, yeah, or what. Cinnabon. Sorry, Cinnamon. So. But I, I'm still wary of that one, so I think I'll still be standing guard. Yeah, I'd, I'd be keeping my wits about me. What's that? Who are you wary of? Uh, Cinnabon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah, but he's gone. Cinnamon. He's gone. Yeah, that's okay. Like, is it My the, character is, but do we know the that? mind link as you start to move? Go, 
it's already too late. That was divine magic. I think that was a god. Another one? That's how many now? And I think I might know which one. So not your god, because he asked for help earlier, and maybe he's just messing with you. No, uh, he's... It might, it might have been one that said that they were coming to the to the fucking dinner. Oh, we're all winning oh anyway. God. Yes, uh, the one that we met in Midtown. Oh my god, what was her name? Ma Majora? Majora? Ma yeah, Majora, yeah, 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 yeah Majora. Wasn't he making Possibly skin enjoyed. puppets of things? Yeah. Oh god, he was. There he was, was yeah. Thing. He had a thing where he had this couple that he'd made and like you know, they were a gift. Yep. Ew. Oh god. <laughs> but I'm just saying divine magic. A backup plan for the parasite. You know? <laughs> skin puppet? <laughs> As everything is settling down, um, Solomort goes to the king. I believe it's time to end tonight's little entertainment, your grace. And maybe get prepared for the wedding in, in two days' time. It is a shame what's happened. And it's a shame that this has happened on your pre marriage wedding. Your grace. The grace nods his head and everything, and can you make a perception check, please, Cal? Yeah, I'm also probably going to try and throw a spanner in your works as well. <laughs> we hate this guy so much. This guy could... 28 perception. You notice both Sodomort and Faint giving you the most dirtiest look ever. Like something that they were planning has gone away. Uh, <laughs> Al is going to... You know that su subtle little kiss motion you do to people, someone? Yeah. That, yeah? He does that to faint, directly. Um, before then turning to the king. Uh, your grace. Um, if I may make a, a possibly improper um, offer to you. Um, this form and function has in all honesty, being ruined by agents that are working against you. As one of the individuals who has risked their life and limb to help save yourself and the kingdom that you hold dear, might I extend the offer of a slightly less structured celebration in honour of your marriage? The Dowager Queen goes to, like, what are you opposing, Kalalin? That my <laughs> son just gets a wish-wash wedding? No, no, not at all, uh, your your Majesty. The wedding obviously should be very proper we have, and equal we to have, the states. We have invited all the lords and ladies of the Empire to this, co this wedding, as it is a moment in history. And you want us to keep a secret? No, no, Your Majesty. I believe you misinterpret what I say. It is simply merely the act of this meal is a celebration of the wedding to come. I am propositioning that due to the fact that the dinner is ruined, I am offering the king and his lovely bride to be the opportunity to still celebrate tonight, this evening, um, in a more, how should we put it, common manner. The wedding would, of course, be uninterrupted. What are you suggesting? Well, the great heroes of the wayward ones. I am the only one amongst their ranks and number who can call myself of a privileged birth. The others are salt-of-the-earth types. They are, for lack of better put it, amongst our circles, commoners. Okay, it's starting to get insulting. And while mm -hmm. they may be of that such status, they are also individuals who know how to very appropriately celebrate. 
and enjoy themselves when there are moments of celebration. Getting better. I believe, Your Majesty, that if your wedding will be the night you always remember, I believe the wayward ones could make tonight your second most memorable. No pressure. <laughs> hey! Sounds like a time for a feast. Proper. Without the forks. So what are you planning then, Kalalan? I would recommend... I would offer that we simply head back to the, the quarters that have been provided for myself and everything else will be handled for you my lord it would be a smaller affair a more intimate and personal affair but again in celebration to yourself and your lovely queen to be finger food yes very well my son will do that i will take care of the rest of the guests of course your majesty uh, your grace and my lady um if i may offer you to follow me. As for the link, Cow goes, I think I just need to throw a party for the king and queen. I'm oh, sorry, you what? You have to be a grounded party. Oh. I, food. I can cook. I can cook in an heavy ale. Don't worry about cooking. Heavy ales, no forks, no knives, just off the plate tearing the food away. Fuck yes, finger food. I fucking love you. <laughs> I go to me. We're gonna need some of your expertise for entertainment. Well, me and Raina could provide some entertainment. Good fight in the middle. Oh, fight, fight, fight! Yes. I think a very <laughs> should be ideal. A fight could definitely be one, controlled and safe as we can be. The king is going to be present, as is the future queen. Um. But I think that could be entertaining to the king. Additionally, we might have to take the um, captain of the guard. It would be most appropriate to make sure the king is safe. Um, other than yes. that, we need alcohol. He we is... need food. <laughs> the uh, Dowager Queen talks to the Lord Commander about this, and he immediately just looks at you like, what are you doing? I, mean, I feel like half the party is looking at Cal like, what the fuck have you done? He's making <laughs> sure they don't go back to the obvious assassination attempt. Oh yeah, attempt absolutely, that's yeah. Absolutely, oh, yeah. Oh, no, there's, there's definitely two double layers to this. There is one, making sure they don't get assassinated when they head back to their rooms by Sordomort or whatever, um, or replaced by some doppelganger weird thing that um, Majora's left behind. Uh, and two, to ingratiate the ca the Aranos family into the royal family's celebrations, oh. making sure that we are good, solid friends. Can she's it's in all the about mind the game like, of politics. Cal. Again. She's in Cal, you know, Rena's asking Cal in the mind, like, Cal, do you know where to get Diamond Duster? Because I could make him hidden if you want. Make him what? I could make him non detectable. So if you want the king to come non detectable to this party, I can do it if I get some Diamond Dust. We'll keep it in mind, but I don't think it's going to be a good start if we attempt to quotation marks. No, in <laughs> fairness, very well. So. You take the queen, the king, and future queen, along with the lord Com lord commander, to. Oh, yeah, I insist the lord commander comes. <laughs> D. You hear a voice coming through the necklace. I am outside. If you want to talk. Oh, you had to pick now to turn up. I will not say as well. Don't worry. I I don't. I'm not. Uh, the party thing does not necessarily have to be no, well played out because no. you don't want too much jump. I'm quite okay with being <laughs> okay, like, this thing so, happens. <laughs> well, we're going to get to an F there. I just want to do uh, T first. Uh, as you all make your way with the 
king of queen or future queen to the chambers um cow you keep an eye on on goop you open the door and you see goop spooning i don't know just uh, let's uh, not okay, talk no, no. about no no cow <laughs> i'll send, send a message to goop before we get anywhere near the area okay um and tells goop that he needs him to go and spy on fate uh faint oh i'm just having a lovely cuddles that, that's great goop but i need you to go and do this buddy only you can do it because you're the champ okay where is craig when you need him yeah <laughs> so you all head off for them t you are uh... now yeah you're making your way outside the palace as you see, the carny folk are getting carted off somewhere else. You are now in the sort of courtyard area of the palace. She hasn't gone on her own, has she? I would have been like, if Emily's here, I'll be back in five. Would you want me to come or would I just go with the party since you were talking to the necklace? Mm -hmm. It's, oh no, this is like a mental thing, like, hey guys, some bad timing, uh, Yamli's here. Do you want to come with? Well, I mean, so you him for Saravak, it makes sense that Saravak goes with you. Wonderful, Saravak... Saravak, yeah. sorry, Saravak. Oh, that's fine. Let's go I'll meet her. I'll ask Greena if she wants to come with her. Join in the party, have some finger food. Whichever is oh, your choice. I want food. Can I go food? I'll be back in a second. Hopefully. Make sure with you one do. less passenger. Alright, I'll follow T. Okay, so you follow T outside. You don't see anything yet because it's dark, but you see a dark figure come along and it is uh, Cinnabon. My friends, what are you doing out here? I'm gonna do a sense motive. Uh, no, that's not what it's called in this. Insight. 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 Thank you. Okay. That's a nat twenty, bitch. Okay, you see oh, right, shit. you see right through the disguise, and you know exactly who this is. Uh, uh, t might. R Athena doesn't. Hmm? Is it? Is it Yang Yes. You don't think you could have come to us in an easier form? <sighs> like I, I love the dramatics. Don't get me wrong. You know I live for the drama, but really. So this is your god. Yes. He just transform transforms himself into the brown cloak wearing old man with a big grey beard standing before you. I was hoping for a chance to speak to you before all this happened. What's going on? I was not the one who invited the Carney to the palace. Who did? That will be the new or going to be the new Lord Command, Lord Chancellor Sodomot. How do we stop him from becoming the Lord Chancellor? That's on you, I can't meddle, remember? Now, <laughs> Pressing matters. Your hobgoblin friend. Yes. Uh, meet Yamwei. He is a insanely powerful god who has saved me. Former uh, god. Remember that. I am fallen. I still have powers. It's all very complicated. And he basically looks, looks you up and down basically opens your eyelids to see if the creature's still running around in the back of your mind. Uh, still in there, is it? 
This man is honourable and good. Please save him. What is the price for this? If I must pay one. Have to gouge your eye out. I lose one eye. Yes. And I lose I, one eye. I need an easy sight to last this thing away. See Saravok take like a deep breath and he's like It will affect me, but it's either that or I'm dead anyway. Do what you must. We will do this. Come and visit me outside the city tomorrow night. Where there's less people about. And we will get this sorted. I need everyone to come to my caravan tea. No, know that's not going to go down well with that. No, but I need everyone to hold him down. And he is a strong brute. Very well. We shall be there. Thank you. He, he walks off and you see just sort of like fog or mist in the air just... He just disappears like that. Just, just before he disappears, he's going to say, it was a really superb exit, by the way. Thank you. And he's gone. I think my character would breathe a sigh of relief. One eye <laughs> for my life. That's worth it. Thank you, T. I, I owe these wayward ones more than I ever thought I'd be owing anyone at this point. You owe us nothing. You fight with us. You're going to fight with us. That is more than we could ever ask for. Do you not doubt yourself? Oh, I don't doubt myself. I'm just glad I'll be rid of this damnable parasite. I, oddly enough, know how that feels. It wasn't a parasite, but I... I got stuck with a little passenger of my own. You did? Yes. I accidentally... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Touched something I shouldn't have. And picked up... one of the old elves, and now he roams free. It's not... a great situation. Well, would that be one of the ones that did the blood curse upon Goop? No. Or from them, no. I doubt it. I don't think Cooper's lived that long enough. This uh, was an old being. Well, at least Reyna won't have to rage. <laughs> she might just make fun of me for being sight slightly miscited. You never know, Zora might be able to grow it back for you. They are spectacular. On so many levels. I can see. Seems like your group has more powers than I've seen. From my adventures. My career days. And it also makes more sense now why the Illithids wanted me to swear off deities. And create an antithetical. Abstaining from them. Ugh. Those creatures deserve nothing. Are you... I know we have not known each other long. And it is not my place. But are you alright? I... I'm fine. It's just... It took more from me than... Just the possibility of my life. What do you took mean? The ones that we must send back to their families and clans. One was very important to me and they took her from me. I'm sorry. It's fine. There's nothing you could have done. You weren't there. 
I am sorry that you are suffering and that you have lost a loved one. For you do not deserve that pain, sir. Oh. Forgive Rena if she's angry sometimes. Roderick was an old friend she grew up with. Good man. He was just as surprised when I joined their ranks. As well as the dwarf who always used to joke about killing the rest of my group off. <laughs> I mean, half the time I... I didn't want to admit to him, but I have believed that the Blackstones killed off all the Hobgoblins. But then again, I told him I could at least get revenge for one. We'll never have that again. At least he's gonna be able to rest now. Damn dwarf. I'm sorry about your people. It's fine. Just... It is strange here. It seems there's stories of my people or... They know things I don't. That's the only thing I've been trying to figure out. Oh, it seems... sir. What's that? Oh, sir, it is your lucky day. For I am an archaeologist. And we uncover the dead stories. I promise you. We'll find out what happened. We'll find their stories and we'll tell them. I'm gonna ask you one question at least. You can ask me anything. The uh, elf, I believe, Asha. She seems at times wary of me, as well as some of the others. She even showed me her ears and I was confused, <laughs> constantly asking me if we were good. Asha, how can one explain Asha? <laughs> Please be gentle. <laughs> Asha is like fire. She burns, but people have come and taken parts of her away or have tried to. Over and over again until she became an ember, almost. And she is only recently burnt to be a fire again. But she still expects people to take that flame, even more. She showed me some scars of her own when we were in the den of those brain eaters. As well as I showed her the scar upon my chest where... I'm guessing that's how the tadpole got itself inside. But I don't want to keep our company waiting. Or wallow in self-pity. Asha will warn it to you. I mean this with respect and reverence. But you two are similar. Give it time. I had to be exceedingly annoying for her to like me. And you wormed your way into her heart. <laughs> Soon you will be free of that parasite, and we'll see if our friends have survived an evening frantically planning a party for a king and queen. Hopefully, Raina hasn't gotten angry with anyone at the moment. <laughs> I... We shall go see. I'm also kind of hoping they were smart enough to convince uh, Rancor to do some trick shots with his bow. The man is insane. And probably one of the most impressive things that any of us can do. Not knowing what the new people can do. Hint, hint. Fucking hint. <laughs> all good. Oh, at this point, we'd have walked all the way back, or? Yeah, you would have walked all the way back. Okay. Um, and you would have seen the party going on, there was this finger food. Uh, the king seemed more relaxed now, as well as his bride to be, as they're actually holding hands, which you haven't seen before. Um, oh. And they're starting to, you know, enjoy the company. And you see Rancor doing his archery skills. Um, I was going to say, Cal, Cal is there as they're walking out this bait, and like, go on, Rancor, just one, at least one. I bet you, you can't fire through the keyhole and still hit the target. 
Go on, then I'll give it a try. And yes, he did. I do. See, uh, and he did. Five, and gold. He's... five gold on him actually not doing it. <laughs> As this carries on, his game is wrapping up. We're going to take a short break. Um, awesome, awesome. And, we'll, and we'll get back to what's going to happen because I know a few of you want to do something in the next part. Just before oh, that, Raina's just going to go to the toilet. I think I hit like, the door. Pretend to get a frog. No, hey, Raina, you want to great. you got to listen to Rena. Yeah, Raina's just going to rush out to her. Oh, great. Then just run off to the toilet. Okay. And that's where we go pick up in in a bit. So we'll see you in ten minutes, guys. And then we'll pick up what uh, Raina wants to do. Oh, I need awesome. a cover. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for at least being gentle with Asher. Thank you for that. I love Asher. Why would I, I love that? you. I do love your character, Asher. Um, I hope I wasn't coming across as bad or anything. <laughs> 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 fine, no, it's fine. But yeah, like 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 um as he said, she has been through a lot, so yeah, she complicated. And that's literally the way that Simon described her at to one at one point was that she's complicated. Nice. I, I think I did a really good job. You yeah, did a fantastic yeah. job, I'm very grateful. <laughs> For a second I thought maybe like some hobgoblins like attacked or killed some of your people and so you're like, Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh yeah. The woman I loved was a half elf. Um, yours are pointier. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, she saw you squaring off against Cal's dad, who was obviously an elf, and she struggled with stuff like that. So, she's like, she's just making sure things are okay and to not expect the, like a knife in the back or something like that, basically. You well, just, saw it, it was trauma, but it was actually social anxiety. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My character is. More like, he's not going to be talked down to by some asshole he just met. <laughs> Which is fair. Asher is just making sure if that makes any sense. Oh, He'd no, rather, you know, fair. be safe traveling around and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has enough decorum to understand not to fight everyone, especially if they're nobles, because they're usually the ones that hired him. But then again, he's like, fuck that guy for saying I should be put on a leash. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Cal's dad. Was yeah. we, we all agree. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick and I'll be right back. I'm going to have to make my own cup of tea like a commoner. He's a boomer. Oh, and I'm trying to drink, so not to comment about it. I literally oh, could picture Cal as here and go, God, Dad, we don't talk like that anymore. Simon, I mean, who, who did you bet the five gold with? Was it me or everybody else? Uh, the king. Oh, uh, okay. I was going to see yeah. if I needed to Al mark, mark off five. Five. Very that's much all. for the party. D did you? Did you fail? I, I got you a thirteen. Got 13. I rolled a two. Oh. Yeah. I said to shoot the hole and hit a target. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't <laughs> even bag that one. I've had too much. Cal to is actually a little sad to take the money. <laughs> The only thing Ash can do party piece wise is maybe wild shape, but I don't know if that'd go down well. Wild shape into something cute. I mean, yeah, you could wild shape into the beasts that they want. Well, that's a good point. Just be like, what is a piece for you to avoid to see? Say that one again, you blocked out a little bit there. You can always be like, what is an animal that you always wish to see? A panther? Ha ha! Good point, I like it. Grr. Grr. <laughs> it's the noise panthers make. Yes. Right, I will be right back. See you in a sec. Um, be right back as well.
we all here? Some of them have just gone off to get drinks. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Don't mind me, I'm just reading the dictionary. Uh, reading what? Reading the dictionary. <laughs> okay, random. You're trying to write, aren't you, at the same time? <laughs> no. Busted. Find the word. I need to find the word protege. P R O T E D E. Yeah, they've got the, it's got the funny French things on top of the. Yeah, these. I'm pretty sure that one of them's got like a little flick above it. Uh, both of them do. Both of them do, according to the Oxford English Dictionary. There you go then. Badly. And also, only been there in the last like ten minutes while we're on break. I've been I've been paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, this has, been, this has been my hyperfixation for the last week. Bless you. My PS5 oh, is signed. Sorry. I was just asking how much more time we have on a uh, break, just to make sure. Um, I'm ready whenever everyone else is ready. Okay, I'll go grab uh, Michelle quick. Be right back. Okay. Just got back, so I'm ready whenever we can start. Cool. I want to know what this plan is. So do I. I don't fucking clue what plan we're on. Do we have a plan? Do we ever have a plan? Did did, did we did we plan something? I don't remember. Well, you have to find out. Because I know what the plan is, but I want to see how it turns out. My mom just has to grab some stuff from the room and then she's good. Okay. She's visiting back from the States. Oh, cool. Very cool. Oh. Uh, funny enough today, she was talking to me and she's like, I can take care of myself. Oh. And she almost face planted into the ground <laughs> before I got her. Yeah, evidence makes <laughs> differ on that one, I'm afraid. I was like, don't worry, mom, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Newcastle's changed so much in my time. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, I just gave her Goop's voice. Do you mind me asking whereabouts in the States you and your mum are from, James? Oh, uh, well, my dad's the one from the States. My mom's from Newcastle. That's why I'm uh, British and American. Oh, uh, uh, But, uh, no. Nah, James, it's... your mum's beating us up. <laughs> but, no. Uh, Basically, my dad's a military, so that's oh. why I kind of like have the Hollywood American accent. Uh. It's, it's very American, just no true accent like yeah. Brooklyn, like oh. Northeast and all yeah. that. I, I, should should yeah. beat us up with um, a bookmark. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I've been quite a few random places in the U.S. and... Sadly, not as much around Europe as I would like to. Just England and Mallorca once when I was a kid. Oh, fair enough. I don't know why, and this could be an awful assumption, and I apologize if it is, but your accent, are you military? <laughs> uh, well, my family was. Like, my dad was, my brother was in the military. But uh, I'm not military myself. I was going to say which one, because I, I, I used to be a petty officer. <laughs> or, really? Oh, no. Yeah, the Royal Navy Reserves. Oh. Fuck yes! Uh, Hence why I had dinners with the three Masons. Oh, God. That's so cool. <laughs> my, dad, my dad's ex-Navy. Uh, yeah, I know exactly the accent you're talking about as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I literally will get that question every time. Oh, you're from the U.S. Where from the U.S.? And it's like, oh, I have a story to tell you. I was raised in multiple states across the United States in different <laughs> military bases. <laughs> I sort of start singing the song. I've been there for a while, man. Yeah. But anyways, uh, 
unless you guys want to ask me anything else or all that, I'm all good to go. How did you meet Michelle? Well, how did you two meet? I want to know now. Oh, well. I have no problem saying that one. I was going to say, do you want to tell the story? Yeah, it's a sweet one. I mean, it, it starts off with a little bit somber because my, my grandfather was sick and passing when I came oh. back to the UK. So I grew up here as a kid for a time. We left, and then, of course, we got the message and call from family and all that, and my grandfather, you know, he's not going to have long left. And during that time, I just met Michelle outside of uh, Trillions, funny enough, in uh, town. And we just started talking about Harley Quinn because I like the fact that, you know, she was technically a throwaway character in the animated series, and I thought it was awesome that well, she was she's unique enough. To be. Yeah, she's supposed to be, but she was so unique in the fact that you know they kept her around and like her story and everything Thank else. Thank you, Mister J. <laughs> and from then on, just we couldn't stop talking when I was here, and when I went back to the states, I promised her that I'd get my British citizenship since, since from my mom's side, I have. Uh, the blood right, ironically. <laughs> Talking about goop and all that, but by <laughs> blood I can get my British citizenship, so I got that in the States, came over, and haven't ever looked back. <laughs> and uh, Joe Dave, uh, he proposed to us on the very steps as well. That's at the pub. <laughs> that is the cutest I, fucking thing ever. I know it was cheesy, but I, I, I could have picked any place, but I was like, this is where... Our story began, so I figured it'd be nice to continue it from there. Uh, and the weird fact is, I was already there to get some bit Dutch courage, because um, I was getting <laughs> back in acting. So I was going back on an acting course, just to, you know, top myself back up, to get back in the feel of it. And then I met him. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever. Oh. It said he was talking about Harley Quinn, and I just rolled up my freaking jeans leg, <laughs> going... Look at this! I've got like a Harley Quinn Joker tattoo. It was like this is. <laughs> Are we fine? Sorry, no, me cough. <laughs> oh, it was meant to be. You two are so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She's the only one I ever want to love. Like. Uh, I've been four years strong. Actually, probably long five years. But, technically, five uh, years four years, years engaged. There we go. <laughs> Trying to save up for a nice wedding for works. I know we could do the civil thing, but I, know, I, but we, could, we I could apply for Don't Tell the Bride. Oh, we could. Me, and, <laughs> me and Simon have been engaged for years. Like it's expensive weddings. It is. We managed to get our wedding down cheap, and as much as I loved it, it was amazing. There were some things <laughs> that you can go too cheap on. Every time, say. every time I start planning it and like budgeting, I just go, I don't want to spend that amount. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a really good holiday. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what we said, to be honest. It was the place I've got did. my heart on, um, and I really, really, really wanted to. Sh like, it's a venue. And, like, the whole night venue, like, the aftermath. And, yeah. Can I? Because <laughs> no, it'd be, I like, in the good old day, but it's going to cost a lot. If you <laughs> have your idea on a place, don't tell. I'm sorry, John. Mm, I got them distracted. He did. It's fine. It's fine. So, where we last left off, the king and queen are having a good time at Cow's finger buffet party. <laughs> um, even the Lord Commander kind of relaxed a bit and placed bets with Cow about Rancor's um, archery skills. He ushers them to their bedchambers and thanks Cal for helping the king to unwind tonight. As soon as he's gone, two minutes later you hear a knocking at the door. Cal closes the door. It is Goop. Um. But, he's, but he's injured. Oh. Is uh, how? As you see, a s very unique knife in his shoulder. Azura. Already on it. I cast Cure Wounds on him. Okay, you cast Cure Wounds on him. Goop is like, oh, master. After I've taken out the knife, sorry, I'll specify. I don't want to heal him around the knife. I want the knife out and then I'll heal him. 
I was trying to be sneaky, but the weird tea looking thing found me. Ooh. At the inappropriate moment, Karina burst out the tide. Eric. Right. Yeah. Uh, and what Chanel looks like is um, <laughs> a, a short horse <laughs> sort of mode. Can I person like a three foot sort of sort of mode? Because it's um, but I hate down to one you know one foot below ourselves. So yeah. <laughs> now, who's that in party? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cal looks at the three foot sword and what? <laughs> and. <laughs> T. Yes, I know this is hilarious. Yeah, remind me that this is absolutely brilliant. I will. <clears throat> oh, got everybody a bad time. Oh, God, what happened? <clears throat> Just gonna dispel it. <laughs> I'll just be in the corner. <laughs> Fear not, there might be some more fighting. Luke, tell us exactly what happened. Well, I was stalking the white tiefling and somehow he noticed me and threw that dagger at me. Then the hand along the corridor far to the east do i know roughly what corridor and whereabouts he's talking about make a make a history check do i get advantage because i've been here for a few what yes times? you have yes you have 21. you know exactly what corridor it is because it is the corridor where um faint and so the mort are staying in. Okay, so it's that that part of the area. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Uh, it's understandable. We were <clears throat> caught snooping around that area, so it makes sense to a degree. Uh, can I speak to Kal El? Like, openly, not in private. Yeah. Go. Is uh, it yeah. an offense to hurt servants within the confines of the king's peace, or do things work differently in this kingdom? I shouldn't do, no, but. The wariness I have, in all honesty, is the fact that. Sword of Mort has come out of nowhere with a very glowing. How can I put it? A glowing record from somewhere. And the king has. not fallen for him, but. seems to be very effectively beguiled by him. Maybe more tricks of the arcane. What I'm thinking, and hence the reason why I don't think we're going to get much of a response if we bring up the attack against Goop. Also, we'd have to explain why Goop was attacked. Goop got lost. Might be an excuse, at least. Unfortunately, there are magics that allow you to, or force you to, have to speak the truth. And, uh, well, it's best not to need them to use that. Fair enough. I don't know your city's politics, so I'll refrain from suggestions then. No, no. Questions mean you learn things. Questions are there to help you stay alive. Actually, sorry to butt in, but we could actually work with that, um, that honesty point, because that spell, Zone of Truth, I know it. So, if we can... 
Wait, hold on. Cal, your necklace, can that... That can pull memories, can't it? Yes. Well then... It doesn't... It doesn't pull memories. I need to... Meditate. And be able to... Put... The memory into it. So you can... You can basically... Take a memory from someone, right? No, I can only take the memory for myself. Can we now overhear us in the conversation if we'd like wave on that one? But... Oh, yeah, this is yes, it's open, yeah. Well, uh, as, as I said, if you have some diamond dust, I can um, non detect one of yours. Yeah. I learned it from the family, so. <laughs> Fun. If rage. we need to sneak, if, if we need to conceal several people, I can always cast without a trace. Uh, see, what I was thinking was if we take the memory from Goop to, from being asked and why he was in that area, then you know, if I was asked to, or if somebody was asked to cast Zone of Truth, then it wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to give any information away, but also he wouldn't lie. Oh, uh, no, the, the next doesn't take the memory from your mind. It simply allows you to store the memory within it. But you don't, you don't forget doing the thing. Can I see now, sorry, Rina, uh, motion to Asha. Hmm? You said you pass a fair trace. What yes. I can do is get people not be detected by any magic. That's what I do. The, the sprinkles, the sprinkles. So? Okay. They'll be completely undetected. <laughs> okay, go away. Smack in the heat. Yeah? Magic only just, like, does a side glance at whoever is closest to that point. Like, okay. But it'll work, right? Like what it? It could work, yes, we can actually use our advantage. However, it would be better actually to do it during the day. They have duties to attend to around the castle and other things they would want to do. Which means that we could pull them away from their own quarters, which would then give us access or give someone access to better sneak in and get in the information we need. Yeah, well, that's my idea. Who's good at lying here? Apparently not me. But I have a wonderful distraction. Who, who, who has high deception? Sadly, I wouldn't be the Absolutely one Absolutely not, no. Definitely not. Uh, I've, I've got some decent deception. I can kind of do a passable job. Because they're Norman qu normish quirks. If I was to give it a number, I would say possibly a plus five. Ooh. That would be a better yeah, number than if I was going to put it on mine, so... Yeah, I wouldn't even put a number on mine if I'm going to be completely honest. But I roll like shit. The number thing sounds strangely arbitrary. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I heard something better plus four. But um, <laughs> all right. Um, so I'll put it out there. Obviously, everyone's decision whether we do or not. I have the idea that we could potentially have someone amongst our ranks betray us. Sodomort. I would be the most likely choice. Someone sent him a message, gets him away from his quarters, and uh, under the guise of willingly divulging some secrets about myself and my family, giving him an upper hand. Oh, Rina starts putting a hand up again. Oh, oh! I'm new to the group! Ooh. 
Did we think it was fine? Right? Oh, maybe not. No, maybe you don't even lie significantly enough. I, I can lie. I think. Can I lie? <laughs> This is where you find out you've got like a negative four on it, and you're like, <laughs> actually, you've got a plus four, but yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> at the same time, that's all happening. And it's either myself or myself and others sneak in to their quarters to have a little rummage around to find out what we can. I mean, Letters, if... notes, connections, those sort of things. If anything, I can just kick him in the shins and make him relax a bit. You know? No. Yes, yeah. it potentially work. If I fail, I can kick him in the shins and make him run after me. What if he's fast for a little thing? Yeah. I'm very fast. But it's faster than some of you. <laughs> Sorry, no offence. We'll do this question first. Do we need to do this in the first place? Yes! It hurts our friend! He... So, turns out, Cinnamon Bun was actually <laughs> Lambert away. Your and God. Asher's yes. eyes narrow at that point. Uh, he has um, agreed to help remove the parasite. We all have to go to his cabin tomorrow uh, to hold Oh my god, your name has run away from me. Saravok? Saravok down. Because it will hurt like a... I lose an eye, but I... I'll be there! I'm there! Um, The other thing that he informed us of was that it was Sarah Mort who just call him sauerkraut at this point honestly it's just gonna be fucking easy <laughs> it was sauerkraut <laughs> who yeah. attempted to poison the king yes I, I had the inkling when after he thwarted it he gave me some rather dirty looks I think we have to stop this and find a way to get rid of him. And then send me the horn, not sneaky. We can find it. Right? Uh, I'll be the distraction. Get her in. I... I have ways of getting rid of people. Your ways are genuinely terrifying even to myself, Zora. Well, I don't have to send him to hell. That I mean, was just an off-the-cuff uh, thought. It... Yes, but if we send them to hell, it's a kind of a final thing. There's no really chance of them coming back, is there? <laughs> no, I believe there will be a chance for him to come back. He might have connections in a certain place. We don't know who this man is or what he's capable of doing exactly. Uh, he will be willing to do. Right. I know of somewhere Asha, he wouldn't have connections. Asha, I need... I'm going to need you with me. Mm, okay. Your pass about trace is too useful. Uh, give us a sprinkle so I can sprinkle you. How <laughs> long do the sprinkles last and how far can, 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 can I Eight be away from you? Can we be away? Eight hours, man. Hours? Okay, Eight. we're definitely getting sprinkles. <laughs> uh, you, you can be sprinkles, eh? I'll put that spell on you, buddy. No qualms on that. Before she just like throws confetti in the air. <laughs> but what what that does is it hides you from magical stuff. Uh, different yeah. you know, divination and magical as well. Can you do it? Can you only do it to one person a day, or can you do it to more? Um, it doesn't say how many people I can do. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, a creature. So probably one. Let's just say a creature. Got it. She's not. She's not that good. She didn't end up too much for her family because she looks just like broken stuff. So, yeah. Still useful. Still very, very <laughs> useful. Um, okay, so how about having this for a plan? Um, Wrangler, you've got a pretty good sneak, don't you? Uh, I'd say it's only about average. I'm not, I'm not the best. 
Jimmy, do you have invisibility? Uh, no, sorry. Honestly, unless we're going loud and blowing stuff up, I'm basically useless. You're not useless. This just isn't one of your strengths. Doesn't mean you're useless. I'm sorry, Cal. I, I'm I'm no use to you in this instance. Your usefulness is in other areas. You always have a use, Azumi. You're the best wizard that ever lived. Thanks. All right. It's small. Eh. Uh. Let me. <laughs> right. Here we can do. Renner, Saravok. Oh. Yeah. You're going nice. to get contact Sodomort tomorrow under the guise of feeding him secrets from amongst my household. Oh, yes. Keep him engaged mm. and talking as much as possible. You're new to the group. You don't trust us. Can you I think... Can I drunk? Can you drunk? Can I get him drunk? Um, I mean, if you can, go ahead. Absolutely. Um, but, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Vok, it might be an idea to use my father's disdain for you as a, a useful method. It's true. I already thought of that. Have an agreeable conversation with him. And thus, you don't want to be working for the Adamos actually, family. Actually, doesn't he hit me? He, he said that I was quaint. Quaint is sometimes a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Same instance, myself, Asher, and Rancor will attempt to, using all the magic powers we have available, including sprinkles, gain access and entry into Sodomort and Faint's quarters. To garner any information we have. Azura, T, and Zumi, if you can be nearby to that end of the quarters, I believe there might, there should be a small garden that's publicly available that you can be lingering in that's not too far from their quarters, so that if we need you, we can call upon you. Very well. Azura, your mental link, I believe, has no limits on time nor distance, correct? Uh, usually lasts roughly an hour, but distance, no, there's no, uh, there's no limits on that, as long as we're on the same plane of existence. If this endeavour takes us longer than an hour, then we have royally fucked it up. I can only cast Cast Without a Trace for an hour, that gives us a timer. Exactly. Perfect. I mean... I know, right? Now, obviously, I know I've just said that this is all the plan, this is what we can do. But we don't do this without everyone's consent and agreement. This is what we're going to do ahead. This could put us in a line of deep trouble. But I'm hoping the goodwill that we've built up last night, or earlier tonight, with the royal family and the king himself and future queen might help smooth things over if anything does go wrong. It'll only go wrong if we get caught. Aye, 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 Captain. Alright, do we think we can all do our parts? No, we can't. Of course. Of course. Yeah. You know what we're like, of course we'll do it. What information should I feed? The creepy one. Should tell me looks good. <laughs> feed him the information about Goop. Let him know that I've got a blah blah slave that apparently there's a quotation marks against my will. Give him that kind of thing. Say that you were told that it was against my will, but don't believe, or say that you oh. don't believe that it had been. I'll talk about the thumbs as well. The thumbs. Ah, uh, that'll be easy enough. And then make further promises that because you do have access to us and that you are welcomed within our inner circle and confidant, that you can then garner more information for him for the future. Are we oh. all going to be connected during all this, though? That's the plan. Yes. If anyone has any issues or any part goes wrong, everyone's aware of it. Could Cal make a perception check, please? Yeah. 
29. You hear a little voice coming behind you say, what can I do? And you see Talamangus just sitting there eating from a bowl those little micro sausages just eating. <laughs> how, how <laughs> look at you guys. Yeah, he looks at and he looks at T and with the face of like, really? You let the dog in? <laughs> Oh, we still like no, no, it's been hours since since we've been So yeah, it's been, it's been more like hours. Yeah, but yeah, how is like like really T really? Tell Angus, if you could keep an eye on the royals, that would be absolutely darling. Uh, 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 so actually, I do have a task for you. Actually, Tell Angus, I do have a task for you. Hmm. This sort of mort comes from somewhere. He has a history, he has a past, he has a background, he has a backstory. There must be something in the Royal Archives. There's got to be. Do you want me to check? That would be a very ideal use of your very, very, very selective skills. I'll do that immediately, yes? And he just, like, puts the bowl down and he just, like, heads out of the door and just goes off. Telemangus? Telemangus? Yes, yes. Not yet. Oh. You see, if you go running to the library now and start making inquiries about Sodom, uh, Sodomort, then that might alert him to something going on. You need to wait and you will go when we all enact our roles. Okay. Understand? Okay. Oh, it's no. very simple, Telemangus. Pal walks to him, puts a, ha a gentle, reassuring sh hand on his shoulder, <laughs> smiles he, he, like you see cow actually smile uh, 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 uh -oh. but it is, I'm it's afraid. a smile that doesn't reach the eyes like it's just purely the mouth that goes as he Telemangus by doing this this means you're part of the team now okay thank you what's Telemangus of course. You should probably get some sleep, because we're going to be starting early. All right? You know the... <laughs> I had this in my head, Simon. You know the part where yeah. Spock smiles when... Um, yes, in, yeah, exactly. In the crossover. exactly it's, it, it's, I think everyone's like that. It's like, he's smiling. Yeah, it, it's... Like, like, Cow was smiling when the king was around. Yeah. And like, that... that because it, for those like Asher, Rancor, and, and Zumi, and Azura, like, Hal doesn't have the mask on when he's around them. It is just a stoic face. There is no real yeah. emotion to it. But then him smiling and giving emotional responses, that's the mask going on. Yeah. The makes sense? Yeah, I'm trying to find a gif for it, but there's no gif of him smiling. God damn it. Well, I've, done, I've done the Terminator awkward smile. I feel like that's pretty appropriate. Yeah, I was trying to find yes. one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be like a big gif. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like that. So, you're all, hell, Luke? you're all heading to bed. Talamangus is going to bed as well. Where is Rena and Savrock gone? You've you've gone to your new bedrooms as well, which is on the same level of this Ooh, palace. Oh, but separate ones. Yes. Oh well, at least I have a nice place to sleep for once. This oh. bed, these beds are the best beds you've ever slept in. She's opening the door. like, we have all had bedrooms. She's Teravok just looking at Rena. She's jumping around, excited. Just kind of shakes his head and's like, well, at least you're easy to impress, Rena. It's good to see you happy again. Yeah, she's going to throw herself on the end and just land in the bed. <laughs> so, you all have a long rest. You all wake up in the morning and you do, and you get going to do um, I will protect Rainer with everything after that scene. Um, you will, you will go and do your separate things to get the plan going. Um, 
Tim Angus has gone to the library. Uh, yeah, we're going to start with we're going to start with um, uh, uh, Shamrock and Raina. All right. You, where are you heading to? You're heading to his his chambers, aren't you? Oh uh, yeah, his study or his chambers, wherever he resides. Yeah. Uh... yeah. We want to send a message to him to give. Oh yes, 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 yes. So you so you sent a little servant to to give him a message, and you're now waiting in the courtyard for him to come. Do we think he's going to turn up, though? Yeah, he should. Oh, if he's yeah. that concerned. Yeah, but well, seen... his first impression to me wasn't that, that grand, was it? And neither you... for me. You see the figures of Faint and uh, Solomot coming Faint down. More, oh, like, oh, great, we've got both of them. <laughs> you wish to speak with me? Yeah! I think we got off the wrong, wrong foot. You I had know, information. Like... Be quiet, little one. You had information about Kalanen? Yes, but I think yes. maybe a more disclosed area, right, Sir Rob? I believe someone more private. Maybe a pub. Choose the location if you wish. We'll go to the gardens. It is more logical Good. that way, isn't it? Faint. Faint just <laughs> nods his head, and you'll head towards the uh, gardens, where you're sharing what you know to um to sort of mod. We are go we're gonna go to Cow and the gang. Did we get sprinkles before we left? Yes, you do. Yes. It's been about a good 20 minutes since they left their, um, their room. Who's, um, who's with you, Cal? Just... I'm with Cal, and so is Rancor. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. What about T? What's T doing? T and Azura are in the gardens. Oh yes, oh yeah, Zoomy. snooping. Zoomy. Yeah. Oh, and Zoomy. And Zoomy snooping. Oh, no, no, just literally, just enjoying the gardens. You can just be enjoying the gardens because we have the link, and so if anything goes wrong, we go. Cowabunga! or some shit through the link, yeah. and you know okay. that shit's gone wrong. Do we need code words through the link? We do now. Don't ruin it, Azura. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Just I call it Bert. Bert's the code word for danger. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. So you're so you hey, lot. Are, are you going to his a study? Uh, yes, I'm. Yeah, we're going to Okay. So you do you want to see if the door is locked? Uh, yeah, I'll be two so ticks, no, guys. Sorry, it. two two seconds. Check it for traps first as well. Oh, I was just literally about to suggest that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what's your uh, what's he your seems the cat. My perception. Is, is it uh, in, is possession or investigation? Check for traps again. Investigation. What's your investigation, buddy? Yeah, I'm not very good at that. Okay, I got six, so I'll I'll, I'll throw it then. Well, I, I can give it a go if you need me to. Uh, you could try and aid me, actually. Yeah, sure. Uh, what, what, what? Do I give him advantage or just uh, me roll as well? You give him, him advantage. Right. Okay. Well, I'll do it with advantage then. But do you have a plus six or do you have higher? What investigation? Yeah. Uh, less than that. Okay, yeah, I've got plus six, so I'll, I'll do it with advantage then. Come on, don't fuck me. Oh my fucking god, that fucked me. I've rolled a one and a eight on the die, so overall 14. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm back now. Sorry about that. There was no traps. Uh, I will use Mage Hand to attempt to open the door. You open the door, you hear a little lock. And you open the door. Is it locked? Yeah. yeah oh, is it not locked? Okay. 
It was it was locked, but you used Mage, Mage Hand to pry it open. Oh, okay. Sneak in. You sneak in. It's very dark inside. They've somehow made sure none of the light comes in. I'm going to cast uh, Dark Vision on myself then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as I say, like, right, go get your TV thing. It's right over there. You say, I can see Dark Vision as well. Can't Carl see Dark Vision or no? He should, he should be because he's high elf. Because yeah. I can see up to 60 feet. Yeah, so does Cal. Cal yeah. should as well. Oh, yeah, 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 I have a dark vision. What the fuck am I doing? It's because in Pathfinder, uh, there's low light vision uh, as a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I thought elves usually get low light vision in Pathfinder. No, no. Yeah, so, but in, so, yeah. in D&D Beyond or the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. D&D doesn't have uh, yeah, no. low light vision anymore. No. They got rid of that entirely. Yeah. There's none yeah. of that. So, yeah. I have dark vision, 60 feet. Uh, so you all go in. It's what you would expect it to be. A necromancer's haven. What? Like, what? It's a necromancer's Toys of Us. Let's not bring Goop here. There's no bone. <laughs> when you say let's not bring Goop here, through the link only to Rancor and Aga, <laughs> not including Azura in this or anyone else. When he says don't bring Goop here, I say, yeah, let's not also, also let's not bring Azura here just yet. Yeah. There's no bones, but you can tell there's... Well, there's a skull on the table with a candle on top of it. But these candles are different. These are black candles. Oh, I was going to say, like, a, cat, a, a candle on a skull, that is aesthetic. But okay, there's magic behind it. That is. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it can, for can, the can vibes. I, can I check the candle, see if it's got any... anything about it? Right. You do can. Arc, would it be an arcana well, like, arc, investigation? Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're not American. Do we don't have hot pockets here. Huh? Do any of us have detect magic? Uh, you didn't bring Azura with you, so. Asha, please tell me. I wouldn't have been any I have, help. This, I, I have oh. dispel magic. That's all I've got. I have detect yes, magic. Not quite the one. But you're I not. I, I do have detect magic. There you go. Oh. And I, I even have it prepared. Oh, oh my God, God. Coming in clutch. Yeah, so I will cast that one as well. Okay. This one has a faint dark magic to it. But you feel more dark magic with the candles behind you where it's kind of aligned with this giant mirror. There's and there's more candles mirror. on and there's candles on these like candle holders, like long candle holders. And it's like shit and it's like placed neatly at the edge and at the bottom of this giant mirror. Can I detect anything behind or anything like that? Because it's a like area. You, you detect, detect that it's sort of like a two way communication thing. As you can feel, there's a lot of heavy magic coming from these candles. Well, let's be cautious of that mirror. It seems to be some sort of communications. With the, by the looks of it. And there's a is lot of magic any, coming from that. Is there, like a cloth? is there a cloth we can put over it? Uh, do an investigation check. Oh, fucking one. Yeah, no, I don't see any cloth. I was just going to suggest a bed sheet, but I don't fancy touching his bed. I don't think we're in the bedroom. I think we're just in the study. Ah, yeah, fair enough. This is hey. in the study, which is connected to a bedroom at the back. Some people sleep oh. in their studies. Like, don't be judgmental. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, yeah, burn, burn midnight candles. He's going as, someone the who has, as someone who has passed out in the university library, I can concur with that one. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, what do we want is, to make is such a mess? Is necromancy illegal, John? Yes, it is. So As everything you... I'm saying here is illegal. Yeah, so pretty much you are fighting against um, the Dark Lord. That's pretty much a necromancer. 
Necromancy has been... You know I mean? I mean, like, is the act of necromancy itself... Oh, illegal? yeah, 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 it's definitely illegal. It is right. definitely... Okay. As it should be. Get the captain of the guard. Dog in the yeah, that, as soon as, soon as, I, as, soon as I, I've really registered this and I'm like, oh my god, this is all illegal, uh, I'll use the link to go to... as uh, Connect to... Um, well, everyone. Um, and... Uh, uh, say, um, Renna, Saladoc, are you still with them? Unfortunately. Oh, we are. Okay. I can keep them you talking. Keep... Yeah, keep them active for a little bit longer, that's all. Um, T, Azura, Zumi, I need you to find the captain of the King's Guard and need him to send him immediately to Sal uh, Sodomort's quarters. There is illegal necromancy within this chamber. It's enough. I immediately test sending. On it. Is there so, anything? Oh, sorry, huh? Is there anything else that I detect while we're at it? Wait. You detect something happening behind Cal. A strange energy. Emerging behind Cal, it's grown bigger and bigger. Oh, as you behind look, you. And you look, it's just my ego, don't worry. As you look behind Cal, there's a black and purple portal behind Cal. And what comes out of the portal is a skeleton, um, a Goliath with a few. <laughs> Other skeletons coming out of it, and that's where we end tonight's session. No, uh, on the nightmare. Uh, Jill. Yeah. So we're still in the garden with that bald bastard. We didn't even get to talk to him much. <laughs> I know. I want to kill him. I want to get him drunk. <laughs> I won't lie. As as soon as he made that quit to you, Renna, quietly I went. Please, mm -hmm. I, you hold it. Renna wants to kill him. Hold it. Hold it. Reserve. <laughs> just hold it up. <laughs> yeah, no, she held it, she held it, she was going to fucking smack him straight away. I bet you that's why you didn't get to talk to him much, because he knew that you'd kill him without, like, <laughs> and, and John's just Rich. like, I need him, I need him for next lesson. Yeah, next I, I was like, I need him, I need him. Rage is going to happen. <laughs> Honestly, I was curious if I could get any from information about the blood rate, because obviously I don't know he was a necropancer beforehand. Yeah. Cause the information but this is going to be an interesting convo. <laughs> the thing that, that, that we're fading the information, so do you think next session we'll get some information back? Or? We'll get, we'll, I'm going to touch on that next week as well, and then mm -hmm. we'll get into what's happening. Okay. Because okay. awesome, awesome. I'm not, I'm just going to say this now, it's not just one portal that's opened up. What? Oh. Oh, 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 o